ho! It's Christmas time again! No, we don't. We don't Says sponsor you. Nintendo. Says you. It's Nintendo Power. It's not even official. Well, state your name. No, my name is Princess Zelda. Princess Zelda. <laughs> okay. Well, Miss Zelda Princess Lady. Um, you have, you do have a hint as to what we're we're reviewing. It's on your head. Christmas. So why is it Christmas? Cause it's July. Duh. I mean, slash seriously. June slash. Summer. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, it's not July yet. Oh well, it's Christmas in. It's Christmas in June slash July. All right, for this Christmas in June slash July episode, we are reviewing. We sing Christmas. The we sing Christmas best Christmas ever. Was VHS. not the best Christmas ever. Are you sure it wasn't? Yeah. Although, it was kind of fun. Yeah. It was not the best, <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> well, why don't you go ahead and tell us about it? So the movie starts out, and what, what, I, there was a song playing, and then they were like dancing around, and they had this little guy on a stuff, and he was like, Wee! Wee! And then he was all like, Spa! The elf went to this workshop and all the elves were dancing around and then the um, big, the old elf kept complaining that he hit his foot or stubbed his toe or, or chopped off his head by accident. <laughs> um, so violent. Yeah, they had a whole song about it. Oh. When he stubbed his toe. Um. When he hammered his thumb. Gee. When he banged his knee. Oh boy. When he bucked. So then they're all like, oh no, it's all Gusty's fault. We're never going to get everything done. He's like, dude, we're always bursting out of the song. We never got anything done in the first place. And then the elf that was flying around going, space, comes in and he's all like, guys, are you working? No, we're singing. Okay, I'll sing with you. So then they're like, wait, we need to get our work done. Don't they? They need to get work done for all the good little boys and girls, a.k.a. me. Kind of like we need to get this review done. I am doing a review, shush. The, um, the flying one called Poofer, he decides to go find Santa, because Santa can smack some sense into those elves. So he's like, flying around, but then he gets caught in a snowstorm, or so he says, and he goes inside this house, because the door was wide open because of her carolers. We find out that this is the house of the Smiths, the most generic last name ever. Well, what about Jones? I don't know, I don't know too many people with the last name Jones. What about Brown? That is very generic, but let's keep moving on. Then we're introduced to the kids. One I don't remember the name of, one little boy I don't remember the name of, another little boy I don't remember the name of, some older girl I don't remember the name of, and then Sorry. Susie. She's the most annoying little adorable piece of- One little Christmas tree standing all alone. His heart was very sad because he hadn't found a home. Then chop went the axe and down fell a tree and off it went with the happy family. So then the lady's like, who wants marshmallows? And then this kid is like, hot chocolate with marshmallows. Then the kid leaves stealing all the marshmallows with all the other carolers. <laughs> and then Poofer <laughs> says, hey guys, can I poof? And they're all like, excuse me? What do you want to do on my floor? <laughs> and, then, and then he's all like, then he, then he goes tall. And then they're all like, what are you doing in our house? And then and he's like, I said his helper. Want to come help me? Want to come help me make toys? And the kids are all like, yeah, yeah, can't we, mom and dad? I don't know if he's really saying as hell. So then he's like, he performs um, Abominations of the Dark Arts. <laughs> He is Santa's elf. And then they're all like, okay, don't hurt us, we'll go with you. And then the parents are all like, wait, Santa's workshop.
shop. Can we go too? So he's like, sure, just climb on my snowflake thing. Then they fly to Santa's workshop and they're still singing and dancing and not getting any work done. And then Gusty kicked his foot again and keeps complaining about how his toe hurts. And they're all like, suck it up, elf! And then decide to get Santa anyway. He's like, oh wait, I forgot to get Santa, toy! <laughs> they go get Santa who looks like a hobo they dragged in from across the street. And then he's all like, what seems to be the problem? Gusty keeps hitting his foot and face and fingers and he's all like oh no what are we gonna do gusty work harder he's like no and then susie's all like duh he needs glasses doofus and they're like i have an idea he needs glasses and then they bring in the best guy ever so then we meet jeremy the greatest elf ever he makes glasses yeah he makes glasses see he made these glasses and these glasses. And these glasses that are in my eyes that you can't really see. So Jeremy chose the scenery for a little bit because he's only in this movie for like five minutes. How about now? Oh no! Oop! Too near! Oop! Too near! <laughs> You're great, Jeremy! I never thought, sissy, that there would be a billy goat elf. He was great. He was great. So, what was so great about him? Did he... Junior! Junior! But did he do anything for the plot? He gave glasses to Gusty, so Gusty could wasn't blind anymore, and he could actually make the toys, and they could take the toys, these good little boys, and the girls. So Gusty picked out the dorkiest glasses frame ever, <laughs> and then... So he turned into Sonic the Hedgehog and became the awesomest, um toy builder ever. So then they're all like, oh, we don't need you guys after all. Go home. The Smiths go home with their helmets and seatbelts. And then they're all like, hey, let's all sleep out in the living room so Santa can step on us by accident. And they're all sleeping out in the living room and then Santa shows up and apparently he has his elves go with him. Oh, by the way, what's up with this angel? <laughs> he doesn't even have an instrument. <laughs> What is he doing? Then Santa gives us pe gives gives them presents. And then they wake up and they're like presents. And then and then um the weird there was this really weird kid who decided to sit at the windowsill and uh say the Saint Nicholas story while everyone else is like. Mm -hmm. Credits rolled while the kid was still talking and everyone else was happy. That was me saying Christmas. So, characters, who did you like? Who did you dislike? Gusty the Elf was so adorable. Gusty the Elf. Why was he adorable? Um, because he kept hitting his face. So you like men who are extreme klutzes? No, 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 I just thought he was kind of... She crazy. does! No. Look up Ron Stoppable! Oh, yeah, Ron Stoppable. Okay, well, what about Poofer? His name is just an, a... it's such a fail. What about the kids? They were just there. Oh. Except for Susie! What do you want to do to Susie, apparently? Shut her mouth? I don't know. She kept, like, going into random rants. I mean, it was totally like... Down through the chimney, Santa slipped, brushed off the dirt and snow that chip. Looked around the room, and then he crept. Right past the beds where the children slept. Well, last, what did you think of those awesomely cool parents? <laughs> Roll the clip of them being all like... Yeah. Great pair of stilts! Oh, <laughs> this reminds me of my favorite doll when I was six. Oh, Larry, look, look <laughs> out! And last one. Santa. He looks like a hobo. I disagree. I think he was a great Santa. I he... think he needed to not be a hobo. How was he a hobo? Just look at him! <laughs> I'm sure the suit is a little cheap, but it reminds me more of British style, you know, Father Christmas. I thought this was American. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt to be traditional or British. Sissy Reviews. I'm terrible at accents today.
'twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even Oh enough. man, this is the great. Santa brought us all this great stuff. Bed. Johnny, you should really get over here, man. I mean, oh, I got to I got to get to her. I got to get to her. Who who's his name on it, mom? Jimmy Hendrix. Wow, he sounds important. Johnny, you should come over here. Oh, Susie just got a pot of gold and a pony. Oh wow! This this is incredible. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, you got presents too. Come on! Oh, oh! I just got an island. An island. It's called um Austra Australia. Australia. It's amazing. Oh, and look, we got a time machine. We got. We're gonna use our time machine. Johnny, you coming? Uh, okay. Johnny just got back. I found that I become the president of the United States. Ah, oh, forget it. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in purple. I like marshmallows. Yeah! S-I-P-Hoppin' L-I-N-G-S dot com.